what we have here is some simple um, greaseproof paper. I prefer greaseproof paper over tissue um, as it doesn't rip and tear when you twist it when creating the feud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut out a little rectangle like so. So we've got this rectangular piece of greaseproof paper and I will add that this greaseproof paper has actually been soaked in a solution of potassium nitrate and water and then left to dry so it burns like a standard touch paper fuse. But what I do is then is I'll take some green simply just tap onto the greaseproof paper and I take a spoon and just simply spread it over the greaseproof paper like so. Let's get a nice even layer. Greaseproof paper. The great thing is, is it doesn't, it doesn't split like tissue would. A lot of people tend to use tissue for this, or kitchen towels. The problem is that with that is it, um, it actually splits when you, when you twist. Um, and what I, in addition to this, what I like to do is I take some masking tape. Okay, I take some masking tape. Place the fuse directly in the centre of the masking tape, like this, on the sticky side. And then what I do is I fold the masking tape over, making sure you get, making it nice and flush, very tight up again. The, um, the grease proof paper that's inside, the twisted fuse inside. So if you can see, it's, it's basically encapsulated the fuse within the masking tape. And we can get it a nice tight fit by running our nail along the edge here. So once that is done, if I can find my scissors, what we do is we cut along the edge, cutting off the excess masking tape. But the important thing to do is, is to not cut all the way down, keeping a nice a nice little lip going along so it is completely sealed. See the problem if you leave a hole anywhere along the line and you light the fuse you'll get a side burn and it'll actually burn out the side and it won't burn evenly. And once you're done with that simply cut the ends. I mean you can keep it that way until you want to use the fuse as a good way to store them. But you cut the ends off and there you have very simple but very effective 